Hello and welcome back to Packing and Plays Stellaris with the Mega Corp expansion. We are back in the CCCP. Now then, last episode we actually left off with the situation in the Zvan Labs, hidden gathering of pyramidic structures built from an unknown material submerged in the layers of sand and dust. We will have to excavate the facilities before we can explode them, but the rebels were correct with their assumptions. The weapon will be worth the while. I am interested with that. It's supposed to be on Sao on this rock. I mean, dirt and sand, I guess, but it seems a little bit odd that that station would be there. But, hey, uh, I'll, I'll take it. Complete. I'll take it. They have a construction complete somewhere. Also, my, as yes, you, the Casco system is now up and running. It's a colony still. We're building Anomalous up District readings Fort. Detected. Somewhere beneath the Rius Oxus clouds, na unnatural structures, silhouette them. Research. Let's research it, boys. Looking at my populations, we still don't have any workers of the galaxy. Which is unfortunate. Decisions. Declare population controls. Distribute economic planetary growth. Which would be a thousand food. Pop growth speed plus 25%. Or expel excess population. But that would cost me. You, I think, is fine. Let's grow that population out there for now. The Zadorway. We have described a dimensional portal that has been discovered in a remote location on Casco. Weather prediction algorithms noticed a strange air current, which has eventually determined the cause by the slight leakage of atmosphere into the portal. The rate of loss is far too small for it to make any difference in the life on Casco, but a very existence of this portal raises some disturbing questions, such as where does it lead to, and what could come through the portal on the other side. Sit log ah. updated. This is an interdimensional porter. Portal on the uh, land that we just took. Okay, scientific then. progress attained. Well, at least our scientific progress is being obtained. Also, on this System farthest, analyzed. on this furthest area that we have, we can update, upgrade you. Seems good to me. As for you, fusion fabricator, uh, improved deflectors, research complexes, or fusion reactor. Uh, how about research complexes? Earlier the research, the better. Negative consumer goods. Minor mandate fulfilled. Yeah. That is good. You, science ship up in the far reaches. Oh no, my dog. System resources analyzed. Mm hmm. Ah, good. That was Alan Shirat. Which, yeah, we're gonna need to go there. Construction complete. You, mining stations in the Riftmark. Just keep moving up. Construction finalized. This long little direction up this way construction, construction uh, station built complete. There. good 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 magnificent reversal the magnetic field on where on way on way on way ah that's up there completely reversed while it was observed by the ccc turn mine this rare event has interchanged the positions of the planet's magnetic poles unfortunately it's all recorded by the sense of the ship providing our science with a lot of valuable data hmm nice just instant flip. Now you are coming into Sao to go check that out. This fleet's still just patrolling around. I suppose I should probably go ahead and build up the starport in Costco to get you around. Although, hmm, a free job and a free job. They are growing with that growth rate. It's going to continue, which is good. There's Xenophile. Eh. Let's just send all the xenophiles out to there. Construction finalized. You, there's a sign of activity in the ancient precursor civilization on Veyer. Ve Ve Ruler. General Secretary has developed a new skill. They are now archite architectural sense. Nice. On Zemnoy Shar. Egalitarian. Just, can we send away all the xenophiles, please? Can we just kick them out? Decisions, decisions, we don't have any excess. We will never have excess. We have the perfect amount at all times. Planetary summary, I would need more pops, but I need... Oh, I can build another city district. Hmm. Also, I could establish a branch office, but that only can be corporate. Also... Rurius V is crisscrossed by an overlapping mineral composite bands of the elevated above the harsh surface of the tall flexine pylons... Uh, clearly of alien origin, and consistently aggregated by atmospheric winds. The pylons sway, and overlapping bands rub together and produce a sonic wave. The Nazbos, an 
inaudible frequencies. Isolate, then study the alien sounds, which would eh, available due to meticulous or make preparations for salvaging. No, we will st we'll study it. Make it a science planet. You, you are bored. Go there. Survey. That would be the last, and then come System on back to survey them. You are done over here. Research project, and then continue on. Special inquiry concluded. What now? Our scientists have returned from the Zan labs unscathed with footage collected from the facility's security cameras. It shows lab scientists bound and gag as guerrilla soldiers pry open the weapon strongbox, but to their dismay the box is empty. Only minutes later the rebels can be seen writhing on the floor in tense and agony, dark patches swelling across their bodies with a skin, ribs, and gray unidentified matter spills out. The matter can continues to expand, swirling hypnotically around them until one of the scientists activates the emergency system. Sprinklers douse the room in liquid and the electrical surge passes through it, executing all living things. Here the footage ends. Our crew can confirm the strong box is indeed empty. Spooky, but a super solid materials. Hmm. Super solid materials plus 30%. So we gain that potential research. Complete. Bit, bit anticlimactic. I wanted a super weapon and all I got is a ghost story. Construction complete. We can go here because there's some situation log, right? Yeah, on Casco, but apparently it just takes uh, research. Heh, well, you know. So if we're going to keep doing this, we need to go out this way then. Explore that way. Actually, you can go automatic. You can just go on automatic at this point. We can go for colonization fervor or starbase influence cost moves by 10%. That's the good one. That's, that's the good stuff right there. Special inquiry concluded. Thank you, thank you. We go to Sherat. And this colony ship can go ahead and go back to there. Odolaman. Let's check out the trade routes. Because it's coming way back to Soitze. Hmm. That's not really doing much. Zero trade value coming out of this system. Hixar coming this way. Piracy can happen in these places, but the system next piracy isn't that big. Mm -hmm. Research, whatever it was. Research. As for over here, you. Because this is so deep into our territory, we'll do trade hubs. And anything else? Not necessarily. Complete. Resource silo, maybe? Just to kind of keep it out of the way. Crew complete. quarters. Closer examination, we've discovered a smaller asteroid consisting of entirely precious, mes entirely precious metals. Nice. Uplink, weapon ship range, storage, dock ship upkeep. How about just the resource silos, maybe? In time. So this is Gasco. Oh, I like the fact that the names of the planets are just held above the systems now. That's very useful. Zemnoishar. League Naval Base. Sith log updated. The Sith log will be updated in time. We can build another city district, apparently. All these are already Anomalous taken out. Readings detected. We have mostly generator districts and agricultural districts. You, a thousand. But ancient precursor technology, civilization technology, location. I'm all right with that. You. Hmm. Anomalous readings detected. Good for us. Where would I want to... Because this area is mostly okay now. System resources analyzed. Good for us. Keep going. Also, what was that in the sit log about the precursors? Hmm. Naval base. Construction Go complete. to. Ah, uh, you're going to be doing that for a long time. Life electric. Fascinating. After you're done that. Uh, yeah, after you're done doing that. Then research project. Do your thing, then research. Unveil. System resources analyzed. Mm-hmm. Also, we're talking about the precursors, but then we have a we have a protogenitor right over here. The Templar protogenitors. Hmm. Another little empire that needs to be brought complete. down. Although they are very, very, Our very strong. Progressed. Nice nebula refinery. Living metals could still happen, but it's gonna take too long. Super solid engineering. Engineering research from engineers plus twenty percent. It would still take eighty months. What about anything else? Space torpedoes, finalized. exotic gas refineries. Do I have exotic gas? I don't know. I don't know. 
up for this direction. Alien barracks. Sit log updated. And Gothia. Anomalous readings detected. Just take it all, take it all, boys, take it all. Special inquiry concluded. The null void. Dimensional portal of Casco leads to a mention of pure entropy. It is difficult to even get sensor readings because the very energy of our pings is rapidly dissipated. The best theory is that the null void is a dimension of the majority of a zero point energy and negative and so many positive energy, which once present has long since been used up. Knowing this, it might be possible to construct a weapon that can use the null void's energy and destruct it offensively. We can get the null void beam and pro dimensional portal will do s researches will also produce dark matter. Huh. Look at that, we get some dark matter. We can't go forward yet with our bases, so we'll just hold back for a second. So on Costco, we now have dark matter inside the colony. Population has some sense. Geothermal. Good for us. We don't have any workers of the galaxy yet, but we will. We will. We need... System resources analyzed. How about destroyers? If we get destroyers, then we'll be able to go after the Valerians. Finalized. Without having to worry about them. You don't do you have enough influence yet? How much is for influence now? Now it's sixty seven, that's pretty good. We've reduced it by quite a lot. Now the science ship, FTL impact, automatic exploration, remarkable. No, wait, research that project first. Then start exploring. We need to see what's over here. Yeah, just kind of surround the Kemplar progenitors Together from two we'll sides. Build a brighter future. Indeed, comrades. Special indeed. inquiry concluded. You're done. Genomes. Hydroponic farms. Pop growth. Anomalous readings detected. You're over here. Okay. Automatic. <laughs> the lack of consumer goods is disconcerting. Maybe Consuenza. Oh, the Lava Citizen Union. They make contact with us. Uh, not actually a bad one for us to get. This is the Democratic Citizens Republic, Democratic Crusaders. They are militarists, but they're also spiritists and egalitarian. The fact that they're militarists and egalitarian actually puts them on the same level as us. We will properly greet you in battle. And they're up... Oh! They're against Discourse the Valorians. Anticipated. I will happily take a defensive pact with you against the Valerian Heralds of Death. But unfortunately, this will complete. only last for as long as the Valerian Heralds of Death uh, exist. Star patterns. We'll get to the boss. We'll get to the bottom of that. Updated. The pulsing stars. Commercial pact. I'll agree to that. Transmission. Might, yeah, it is. Discourse anticipated. Research agreement. This will also hurt us, though. And they've closed their borders. We've allowed you to move freely. Eh, I'll open my borders to you. What can I say? Evading hostiles. Enter the Great Wound. Go to. Oh yeah, that's a that's a lot of black holes. Get out of there, boys! Get out of there before these things, whatever they are, have opened their borders. Transmission incoming. Discourse anticipated. Absolutely not. You do not get to go through my lands like that. You don't get free movement. We decide who goes through our country and into your country. We get to decide that you got that. The Great Wound is a little unfortunate, but we'll go around it. As long as everyone stays on evasive, we should be fine. I haven't run into any Goliaths yet. Or any, uh, whatever they're called. Titans? No, they're not called Titans. Leviathans. That, that's it. They're not Goliaths, they're Leviathans. Ankahines, what are you up to? Population is still just all the specialists. We need more farmers. We have the districts for it. What can it really do? Construction finalized. We need at least five population before we can get that. Okay, we can build city districts, I suppose. They have upkeep, but we don't really need to worry about that. Soinze. Zemnoi Shar. Let me see this. We have 404. Population continues to grow. We have the farmers, the clerks. We have technicians, miners, scientists. 
What can we do here? Well, there's still blockers in this con in this area that we can take care of. Industrial wasteland and sprawling slums. We can take those out. Also, the sprawling slums. I think if you clear them, you get a safe population anyway. Analyzed. You briefly detected some unusual energy readings. Well, time to do it. Scientific As for us, progress civilian attained. industries turn minerals, league prison complex, into consumer goods. System we do have a problem with consumer analyzed. goods at the moment. Alloy founders would be good. Precinct gives us more security. I don't think we have much of a problem with crime. So we can go for civilian industries. And we could repair, demolish. You require something lacking some special resource that I don't know. Over here, we can take... Oh, we now have Theta Aliens. Or the Null Void Beam. Well, we're actually pretty much halfway there, so we'll look at the Null Void Beam. And Theta Aliens. Oh, oh they're just they're just passive. That's fine. But into my situation log, we do have a couple of drone study, which can be done 35 months. Theta Aliens, which can be done 15 months, or... No, Eta and then Theta. I might as well go for Eta and... First, and the next, and then the next, and the next, and the next. Construction ships are still bored. You, build up some research stations out here. Out here in the farthest reaches. Construction ship over here. You should be building mining stations, and then research stations. And also... Special inquiry concluded. Archaeological project completed. The first league. Emblem of the Outer Rim Patrol fleet. Uh-huh. You could get reinforced with a hundred... Just of these things, alloys, Gehines and the Casco system. Generator districts are at least built up to begin with, but we need more building. Construction finalized. The first worker of the galaxy. Also, you xenophile and egalitarian. No militarists. You dis you hurt my name. Red Legion obviously needs to be supported. Until at least seventy percent. Red Legion, the Menshevik, and then an independent consumer goods. Complete. Ain't too bad. But we'll grow and grow and grow. Yep, we really re elected them. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. Uh, I wonder I wonder how he won. Everyone just wants to really like him. And no one must have a problem with him at all. You, research that project. What do you have to do? We can go as far as Gothia. This is this is the only way that we have to really expand out that we might have Construction to compete with. Finalized. You, I have a feeling that these plants complete. might come back around and either sprawl Special this way concluded. or in some way void clouds. Let us watch. Or in some way come through here either way. I think we mostly have the Heralds of Death blocked in, especially up here with the Lavis Citizen Union. A union to one union to another will take out the galaxy together. You are aboard we don't have enough influence to do anything else, so go build a research station. Our consumer goods have stabilized. Special inquiry concluded. They are uh, uncovered in evidence of a failed escape attempt. Cool. Good for you. And now... Wait, do I have two in here? Scientific progress attained. Uh -huh, just, oh yeah, there's this whole entire region. Construction complete. You, the null void beam. Well... It's an interesting basic combat roles. Chemical plants for volatile materials. Fusion reactors. We can check out that null void beam in my ship designer. I might as well put it on, say, the Pafov. Or, no. You're... No. You're the interceptor. Let's check it out on you. The null void beam. In, a, in its small form, it has an average damage of 2 per minute. You have 3 per minute and you have 2.5. So 2.15 and you are 2.25. It is better than the red laser. What is it? It is 400% shield damage. It cuts through shield like butter. Then again, shield damage is already being done by the coil guns. But the null void beam is not that good against armor or hull. It is just to strip away the shields of the enemy. It has, it has a range of 60. You have a range of uh, 50 and 40. Meaning that once you get in close, it just absolutely... Actually, it starts from farther away. It just cuts through the shields like butter. So, I think I'll put that right on there. 
to be able to take them out. Reactor booster is not necessary at the moment. Now composite armor. Shield the null void beam. It might might be able to work that into something later, but we'll save that in the design right now. Uh, you know what? How about new design? Insaluga. Uh, null void intercept. No, that's too much. Null void. The basic idea is it's going to be strictly focused on the null void beam with a coil gun to back it up. And it's just going to strip the, away any shields that come after us. It's going to be an anti-shield kind of ship. But it, that also makes it very, very specific. Also, we do we are going to have kind of the problem of having too many corvettes of one type. So, in my one fleet, let's go to its fleet manager. You have six of the interceptors and four pickets. Pickets are good against the missile variants. Add ships to this fleet. The null voids are more expensive, so we'll only get a couple, but they're just very good at what they do. And then a couple of missile classes as well to fire from afar. Let's see. Two of them together is already 104 military power. That ain't bad. It's not bad for what they do. Hmm. For four together, they're better than pickets, but they are less... No? Wait, if I bring it up to six, they'd be even stronger than... Trunyads. Interesting. Maybe I'll put four in. Just strip off the sh strip up anything that comes after us. But the interceptor will still be the most important part of the fleet. Reinforce this fleet for that. And that'll be the first fleet with that thing for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. The Null Void Beam Cannon is lovely. Although it is unfortunate that the Zion Labs didn't really come out too much. Not really a war ending cannon by any means, but like I said. Thank you for watching. See you guys next episode. Bye-bye.